So your opponent, Kawaji Tatsuya Kawaji, what is your impression of him? He's a very tough opponent, um, lots of experience, and um, a big name. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why I chose to fight him, you know, I think it's mm -hmm. the, a big step for me, and it's always in my life, it's always been a, the next guy, the next guy with jiu-jitsu. It's always gets difficult, so I guess it's time for it to get difficult. そうですね、川島選手は非常に怖い、あの、相手だと次の選手、そしてカットまた次の選手というのにどんどんステップアップしていく形となり似ているような感じです。イメージとしては。So have you strategized how to, you know, fight against them? I'm not a very strategic kind of fighter, you know. So I've always seen clips of people who are fighting and stuff before a little bit, but I never put too much attention mm -hmm. into that because nobody's fought somebody like me. So the fight is always going to be different. You can't count on things that they're going to do in one fight. They might do things differently in another fight. So for me, it's about preparing myself and letting my intuition and letting my training, the things that I've done in training, those guide me. あの、あの、行きたいというふうに思っています。はい、Thank you. So uh, my question to you is that uh, I know that leading up to your game on the 31st, there are only a couple of days left. So are there any other training training leading up to the fight day or are there anything rest left for you to do in the couple <laughs> of days left? Uh, make weight and fight. Mm -hmm. That's what's up for me. Make weight? Make the weight. Mm -hmm. あ、待って。で、ウェイトビジョン。オッケー、両足で、軽量して、クリアして、それで戦いに臨むというところで、ですって。どういうふうに、どういうふうにしてこないか。じゃあ、なんか食事行ったりとか、あの、観光したりとか
行する時期じゃないと時じゃないっていうふうに思っているので、まあ、あのこれは仕事としてやってきているので、まあ、この仕事大きなお仕事が終わってからそういったことはしたいと思います。I was, in, I was in Okinawa for two weeks before this. You came here? Yeah, yeah. That was where I did my training camp, or part of my training camp, and then I just got here today. So at this point, there's nothing more to do. ですね、なのでもうトレーニングはもうし尽くしたという感じでそこまでもうのや残っていることはないですねそれ時差ボケをしないためっていう対策ではあるんですか、so、that was sort of like a measure so you, the reason why you went to Okinawa was also for you know trying to、um, you know get, get out of the jet lag or coordinate be coordinated it seems pretty obvious yeah そうですね時差ボケも解消も兼ねてっていうことですかね調整をするために。
he came down to LA. Uh, I just sparred with, I had some good training with me and with uh, Chris Avia. So over there, I did most of my training camp here, just uh, basically tuning up some, some training. I got Moses Baca, who's one of Gilbert's um, black belts and jigs, and Juan Quesada, who's also um, a very tough opponent, a tough training partner. So, you know, at this point, um, and I have Richard also helping me with some boxing. At this point, it's like, uh, you know, people always say like, oh, this training camp, you know, that training camp. And really, I've been training for this since I was like a little, little kid. You know, so it's not like, even if I didn't train a day for this training camp, I'm still gonna go out there, I'm still gonna be able to, to do what I can do, win or lose, I'm still me, I'm still gonna express myself in, in that way. And uh, the more training camps you go through, you know, injured or not injured, you realize that the training camp is just like a, it's just a little fine tuning of who you really are. You're not gonna make or break with the training camp, you know? I saw Nathan in his last fight with Conor McGregor. He barely trained for that. He was injured the whole training camp. So that didn't take away anything from him as a man. Um, it can affect little things, but really, you're going to go out there. The day of the fight is what matters. <laughs> のパートナーも連れてきてますかっていうことをご質問されたんですけれどもそれでなんかアメリカのトレーニングキャンプすごくうまくいってあの非常にタフなあのトレーニングパートナーにたくさん行ってなんかギルバートさんとかモンスターと